here it is. Uh, I would point out that Amazon, who I ordered it from, didn't do a great job of packing this. The box they put it in, basically it got crushed. So you see it's all smashed. But in this case, you know, it's a macro extension tube. It's not really fragile or anything. So, inside here. Warranty. Three different, different languages. You know, whatever. More paperwork. No one's really interested in that. Here is the extension tube itself. Really nice quality. It is made in Japan, or not made in Japan. It's made in China, rather. Uh, I think this is kind of becoming more common for Fujifilm. Over here I have the 27mm and you will see it is also let's see if this guy will focus here, it's made in China so it uh, this lens and I believe one of the newer lenses, one of the, the zooms I believe is made in China as well potentially I'm trying to recall which one I noticed that was kind of surprising and then I think the Lenses, the other lenses don't have aperture rings, that, uh, such as the, I think it was a, the 16 to 50, and the 55 to 230. They're also made in China, but you know, that aside, this is really good quality. I'm comparing it to a lot of these adapters I have, I have a, a Konica AR to uh, Fuji X mount adapter, and you know, this is uh, way better quality. It's also more expensive, but. Uh, it's nice, nice uh, piece of metal here. Um, I think this is literally the same metal they use for the, the lenses. I can actually do a quick comparison here. It looks basically identical, and speaking of which, so take your regular mount, looks like you just line that up, lock it on, and you're good to go. This would uh, mount up on the camera that way. It's kind of an interesting little setup here with the 27. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and shoot with uh, some of these lenses I have. I have the 18 on here right now, 27, and I'm gonna try the 35 as well as the the 55 to 200 zoom I have to see how they do, and uh, kind of give you some comments on that as well. And uh, I'll put in some samples, but. You know, this looks like a pretty nice adapter. I'm uh, hoping it works pretty well. I don't have the 60 millimeter uh, macro lens, so this will be my ability to do macro. And uh, I'm hoping it lets me get up pretty close. I had a chance to shoot it with this is the 18 millimeter. I also shot it with this uh, 27 millimeter, which I had it mounted on earlier. And uh, I shot with my 35 1.4, uh, which I don't have here as well as the 55 to 200 zoom, which I also don't have here. And it seems this 18 millimeter is actually the best for this, this lens. Uh, this guy, this works pretty good, to be honest. It, you can get pretty close and get some decent magnification. I wasn't honestly that impressed that the 35 1.4 with this extension tube doesn't seem to do very well. It doesn't seem to get that close, and considering how awesome that lens is with, you know, without this extension tube, I just wasn't, I mean, obviously I've just done a little bit of quick sh uh, shooting with uh, uh, this extension tube that I just got, but it, it, I don't know, it just didn't seem like I could get that big of a magnification, and the biggest disappointment was the 55 to 200. At both 55 and 200, and I kind of shot a, uh, tried a little bit in the between, you, you really can't get that close. That, that lens without the extension tube, you can't get very close at all. Uh, I forgot the minimum focal distance, focus distance is, but it's something like a meter, I think, or maybe more. But uh, you, you, re you really couldn't get close, and it was kind of disappointing. I uh, found with this lens, this is again the 18. Uh, I'm going to zoom all the way to the minimum focus distance. Hopefully I can show you guys here. So, I mean, you can see... Hopefully you guys can see that in this. Maybe I'll, I'll center this screen for you. That is 
pretty good magnification right there. So, sorry, that was with the focus assist, so it looks a little bit bigger. But I mean, you you basically get right up in front of the lens. So, in this case, I have a you know an LED light here. But uh, even with, you know, you could do it with a flash, and I'll show you some samples I took with a some flash to help uh, illuminate the the image. But this this guy lets you get really close to the lens with, with the with the 18. So I think this will probably be my my go-to for shooting this extension tube. I'm not sure how the I think this is an 11 millimeter extension tube. That's why it's you know MCEX 11. I think the 16 is a 16 millimeter, and I guess that would allow you to get even closer. But uh, this is kind of neat. I'll, I'll post a, a photo of a quarter that I took, uh, kind of the face of the quarter, and you can get pretty close. You can see a lot of detail. And uh, I was uh, taking another photo, which I'll also post here, of a microfiber cloth I have, and you, know, you could see. The tiny little fibers and stuff, it's, it's pretty neat. So, this is a pretty cool little thing for you know, again, I paid uh, I think uh, $86, something like that. I think it's retails for $99. I have read you can get the photo diox, I think it is, makes the a kit of both an 11 and a 16 millimeter, the two macro extension tubes, and you get I mean, they're, they're basically the same as the Fujifilm ones. They're they have the electronic contacts and do everything the same. It's not really like there's any fancy technology here, and you get both for a hundred bucks. So, you know, you're kind of paying double in theory. I mean, this was a little bit discounted, as I said, but in theory, if you pay retail for these, you're paying about double to buy the Fujifilm ones. But in either case, you you know it's going to be better quality. I'm sure the photo diox one's fine. I have some photo diox stuff, including an adapter, and you know, I was happy with it. And it's probably made in China, just like this guy is, but. Uh, I just felt I was going to buy the Fujifilm ones just because they should be reliable. And uh, the fit and finish is going to be as good as their lenses, which you can tell, you know, this is nice. Uh, I believe it's aluminum. You got a really nice uh, grip here to mount and dismount it. Speaking of which, there's the the button. So obviously you release your, your lens, or in this case, because I have the extension tube mounted, this will release the extension tube. I'm not going to take it all the way off. You can see I just moved it. I'm going to lock it back. But to remove your lens, you have this little lever here. No surprise. And you would move it off that way, but I'm going to mount it back up. It's a little, I don't know, it's a little cramped. Maybe with a bigger lens, this could get a little harder to get to. But it seems like it works. And uh, didn't have any issues. I thought for some reason that I would be able to potentially shoot with this nor at somewhat normal focus distances and then I knew I would lose you know infinity focus because of the extension tube you can't you can't really focus like basically with this 11 millimeter one I mean I don't know I, I, I'll, I'll play around with it but it's something like like less than a foot like you you can't I don't even think it's that I think it's like six inches you basically have this really narrow depth of focus and obviously when you have it in manual focus the the distance meter on the screen is, is not accurate anymore. It doesn't know that you have the extension tube on. I don't think it's possible for the camera to know that there's a extension tube mounted. So there's no way they could, like, with a firmware upgrade, tell it. Sort of like a lens firmware body up or firmware upgrade tell it to, like, tell you the true distance. So you can't really use it to judge anything. And it's uh, ve very narrow. You have relatively close, as you saw, like, almost right in front of the lens to, like, Something like, I don't know, maybe six inches. So, once you have this, you cannot take any normal photos with it. So, if you're going to take some macro shots and then you want to grab something maybe at a couple feet from you, you're going to take it off. So, just something to keep in mind if you haven't used one of these. I've never used an extension tube before, so I wasn't aware of that. Uh, just something to be, you know, cautious of. Not a big deal. But I'm going to play with it a little bit more, but... Uh, I think it's a pretty cool use of uh, of eighty six dollars, and I look forward to playing around a little bit of macro photography because I haven't really dabbled in that in a long time because I don't have anything that I don't have any macro lenses. But with this guy, now I do. So uh, I recommend it. It's pretty cool. Thanks.